Welcome to Machining Tech Tips. Today we will be going over proper machining techniques for wall thickness. In this video we will cover how wall thicknesses that are too thin will compromise structural integrity, how structural support is required to avoid clamping pressure, and the advantages of walls wider than 3 16 of an inch. This is an example of a part that requires non-traditional machining practices. Its wall thickness is just 1 16th of an inch, making it nearly impossible to clamp it in a vise during the machining process without crushing or bending it. To make this work, our machinist would need to create a plug in the middle, which will require additional material costs, setups, and programming time. This part has been designed with a base of 3 16 of an inch. It has been modified by adding a thicker base to the lower half of the part, that lets us clamp onto a solid structure during the machining process. The part still maintains 3 16 of an inch wall geometries, but it now includes a base with quarter inch thick walls. By doing this, we no longer deviate from traditional machining practices. So remember, design parts with walls no thinner than 3 16 of an inch. If thin walls are required, incorporate a form of structural support into your design to accommodate standard manufacturing processes. Following these steps will add maximum value to your project. This concludes our video on machining wall thickness. For more information and tech tips, please contact our design team.